Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. We are coming up to Halloween. I absolutely love Halloween. There is tons of stuff I have got. It is just like crazy with all the gear that we do for Halloween. So I'm gonna, these next few days, hopefully, I'll be taking you with me on the journey as well. But recently we have fell into that Timu trap <laughs> and I was looking at some of the Halloween stuff and it's literally just come um, and I thought I would show you exactly what they've got to on offer for this festive season. <laughs> now the majority of the stuff we all know it's like two pound here, two pound there I actually don't think I have paid probably more than maybe two, three pound max for each item. Some even less than a pound. First thing I have got is this little ghosty decoration. I think this was about 60, 67p. <laughs> But oh, it is just that I thought, don't where you see, or oh, like, I don't bother with the dimensions when I shoved them in the basket. I was like, oh, in the basket, oh, get in the basket. <laughs> and then this, it looked a hell of a lot bigger on the picture. <laughs> and this is the thing I got. <laughs> but it's got like twisty little pipe cleaners for arms. But the actual thing lights up as well. When you actually take the cloth off, <laughs> it's literally just a bulb. <laughs> but it's a little battery operated. Uh, I'll just plug the little tab out. But it's, it's a flasher. <laughs> Not bad for like 60 pence. <laughs> Another thing I got was these black ravens. There is, how many is there? Now these were less than two pounds for the lot. So, five, ten. Ten of these for two pounds. And they are just little, little ravens and little wires to actually twist maybe on your fence outside. So they're just like polystyrene with little black feathers stuck on them. But I thought absolute bargain for that. Okay, other things I've got is some for like indoor. And there is these cushion covers that are like a velvet type of feel on them. Again, um, I think these are about 50 pence. So it's got a little haunted house there and loads of pumpkins on. There is, I don't know whether they are all different. I think they might all be the same actually, to be fair. No, they are different. So still type of scenery with the haunted house, but just more pumpkins on the other. So I've got a few of them to drop round the house. The feel on them. <coughs> they stink. So they're gonna have to get washed. What is that? Have you ever noticed when you buy stuff from Timu, the cloth on them, like, it's proper whiffy. But the texture on them's nice. I've also got a set, a set of six. I think these were a little bit more expensive. Not so much expensive. I think they were like eight pounds or something. But these are chair covers. And it's that four-way stretchy type of material. And again, they match with the actual cushion covers as well. That type of same coloration. But it's got the Happy Halloween on the front. And a, a big cat. 
big black cat and the pumpkins, the little Halloween house as well, but it just literally, it's got like the elastic band on the base, so it will go round the back of a dining room chair and round the seat as well. So you'd end up sitting on this Halloween logo and the black cat round the back. Actually, I am on one of the dining room chairs, so I can show you. So it's like a t-shirt type of material. And like I say, it just wraps around and goes right across the base as well. So yeah, it's like, it is like a t-shirt type of material. But got six of them in the set. I've got packets and packets of this stuff. Uh, the spider web. Uh, I think they were about like 10 pence a pack, 10, 20 pence a pack. Now, if you go to the shop for these, they're about a pound or more, even two pounds. But on Timu, pennies. I'm not. I'm not opening that because it goes everywhere. It sticks like shit to my blanket. The next thing I got are these metal signs, and they've got like little witches, like a little witch coven, on these. Again, you've got like two little holes where you can tie string round and you can either hang them up, dangle them, make little, you know, like a um, like wind chimey type of thing you could probably do with them. They are meant for outside, like I say, they are metal. And they've got two punched holes in either side where you can tie and like have it as like a picture frame type of thing, but I'm thinking I will hang them from the tree outside and have them discs, so I've got quite a few of them. So this is the only first one that's arrived, but I know the others, they've got different designs on them. There was ones where there was wood as well, but for the same price with it being metal, like I said, I think this was about pound twenty, something like that. So there's also window stickers. Let's have a little open of these. I've got loads of these, literally rolls and rolls of the stuff, all different designs. This one, so it's got the big black witch, and then bats, spider webs, bats, all on it. They were only pennies as well. This is bigger than this, the last one I've just shown you. I would only stick these. I would only stick these on a window. I wouldn't be bothering sticking them anywhere else. But this one is like a big demon with red eyes. And then I think it's like branches and stuff that you would stick all behind them. So if this comes in two separate parts, so it does go quite big. You've got like that big claw hands type of thing coming out at you. But I think if you stick them on the window first and then like a, a white sheet or a white curtain on behind it, because well that's the plan I'm going to do because I have also got quite a few of these battery oper operated like little switch lights to stick around the window. And let's see, where do you switch this thing? Oh, oh yeah, it's back. This comes with a little remote control as well. So, and they are the kind of like Christmas lights. So, they are the green, yellow, red, blue, 
but there is little different flashies that you can do, different settings, different colours to flash, whether you only want one certain ones. You can even put it on a timer as well. So I think that was probably the most expensive. I think that, I'm sure that was about, about 12 quid, I think, for this one. But, I mean, it's huge. That is going to go round the window probably two, three times over. So I've got another sticker roll here. <clears throat> you just end up putting stuff and then they give you those. Oh, throw another 20 quid in your basket and we'll give you another £100 for free. I swear it's like a gambling game. This team is. Well, they, they bring you in with that spin the wheel. Oh, you've won a free gift. It's not a free gift because you've got to spend 50 quid to get 50 quid. So this one, it's another two sticker. So you've got to put it together yourself. But there's one half. It's like a zombie coming through the wall or window, whichever. You can see like that zombie coming through. Now I do have like backdrops and curtains galore here. So let's start off with the little ones. So they come with like a little roll of ribbon to tie up on. So because they've got those like little shower hook type of holes. But again, just for the smaller windows, you've got that big girl hanging out there. So again, they all come with different types of ribbon to tie them up. Ah, <laughs> this one you can actually put your face in. So this would be like an outside one for people knocking photo opportunities and all that type of stuff. But it's a six foot drop and I haven't got six foot in front of the camera to show you but one with a, they've both got skeleton heads standing next to a grave. Ooh. <laughs> and then another one there as well. So I've got two of them to go out. So, oh. And then even one further down, told you it's massive. Even another one there for the kiddies. <laughs> because there's nothing worse when someone wants a photo opportunity and you've got like a queue of kids hogging it all. It's not like Halloween's just for the kids. <laughs> so this one is huge. I don't even know what this one is now. So, it was probably one of them. Oh, if you spend this, chuck this in the basket. This is like a, a big, I'm sure this is like the 12 foot wall covering. This, the quality on this material is fun. It's thicker than a shower curtain. It's got that shiny feel on it. I like gothic curtains and gothic arches with candles. So just flip that one round. See like big gothic arches on it. But it just keeps on going and going. And the length of it is huge. So that's just half of the height. I don't even see that all on camera, but double that height wise. And one, two, three, four, five, 
six and times that by six lengthwise it is absolutely massive and again I think that was about a tenner I've got another giant wall covering so just like that one but different design And this one is, oh my god, this one is like an outside one. Um, oh my god. It's like the front gates of a big cemetery. So you've got the the bats, the big moon, and if you can just see those like gothic -y style gates, and if I flip it round to the other side, so this will be the bottom of it. So big old gates going round. You've got like glowy little pumpkins on the sides of them. Absolutely huge doesn't have the measurements or anything on these but yeah that could be a whole big outside front of the house pin up or just even in one of the rooms in the house depending on what design you would be going for but I am going for like that gothic type of look this year and hopefully, like I say, I'll do some other videos of the whole setup and take you around with me. And then probably the whole finish setup on the day as well. All the other stuff I have ended up getting, I'm going to do on separate videos because it's for night time really, with all the lights. Uh, it's mainly solar lights. So, but they're all like um, spray fountains. But there you go, the whole Timu trap. It is a cracker type of an app. It, I suppose it's like you're cutting out the middleman in a fashion. So, a lot cheaper than what you would buy in a shop. But then you've got that little gimmick of oh if you spend another tenner if you spend another 20 type of stuff and it's them type of things you've got to watch for so don't it's a, they have designed it like a gambling website with that spinny with steel another free gift another free gift but there you go guys my first Halloween Timu haul let me know your thoughts have you been in that Timu trap? What type of stuff have you ended up buying as well? Drop me in them comments. While you're there, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care. How the fuck am I going to get all this in a bag again?